Hey guys, it's Josh from Dipnip Channel, and it's the middle of the week, which means it's time for question of the week. Now, this week's question comes from Simon, and we're going to jump right into the content here, folks, and it has to do with sensors. So let's read the question. Hello, Josh. I would have a question for you. We have a KCB engine, which is a C13 if you don't know, with an atmospheric pressure sensor coating voltage high once in a while, but we can't figure it out where it is the sensor. On the intake side, we have the boost pressure sensor and an intake temp sensor. I believe he's saying that that's what he found on the intake side, and that is true. I called the tech support of Cat here in Canada, and he didn't know much where it could be, saying it could be in the oil pan, which I would find pretty weird anyway. We did a wiggle test, but can't make it code. If you can give me a little help on this, thanks, Simon. That is two questions, basically voltage high code and where that sensor is. So the sensor location is actually an easy question to answer. It's actually on the front structure, which is unusual for cats. The, usually the atmospheric pressure is nowhere near the front structure, but on C13, it's on the back side of the front structure. If it has an air compressor, basically between the air compressor head and the front structure there. So that's an easy question to answer. But I think the bigger question here is, what is a voltage high code or voltage low code? And there's also current high and current low codes. And I get questions on these a lot, not necessarily just the atmospheric pressure sensor, but they trip people up that are not familiar with the terminology. So I'm gonna lay it out here as simply as possible without getting super technical. But a voltage high code or a voltage low code is a circuit fault that the computer, the ECM, has identified with that sensor circuit. Now, why is it saying voltage high? Why not say sensor fault? Well, because it doesn't know if the sensor is working or not. All it knows is it sends something out called pull-up voltage, and it measures the voltage on the signal circuit to the ECM from that sensor. Usually these are three wire sensors, pressure sensors are. They have five volt reference voltage, or basically that's what powers up the sensor. They have a ground, and then they have the signal wire. And they use pull-up voltage on the signal circuit to see basically if that is in range or not. And if the voltage gets too high, that means there's an open circuit somewhere, or there's an open in that circuit for that sensor. It knows that because it's looking for a narrow range voltage signal, and if the voltage is, like I said, too high, it's gonna throw a voltage high code. Now the way it gets too high is that means the circuit is open somewhere, meaning it's not connected between the sensor and the ECM in the wiring or internally in the sensor. It is theoretically possible the ECM also has a problem, but that is very rare on cats in my experience. So that's a voltage high. Voltage high means there's an open circuit for that sensor. So generally on cats, a lot of time it's the sensor itself. The wiring can be the problem, but generally it ends up being the sensor. So people will see that and think, oh, what, what the heck, a voltage high code? And I think they think the pressure is reading high, but that's not what that means. That means the voltage is reading high in the signal circuit. So what is a voltage low? Well, voltage lows are less common, and that means that that pull-up voltage that it's sending into the signal wire is being pulled down, which the only way you drop voltage is pull current through it. So basically that means it's shorted and current or voltage low codes are less common than voltage high codes because it's less common for voltage or wires to short together or the sensors to internally short out than it is for them to go open or get a break. So that's why you'll see voltage high codes a lot more common. Now that terminology I do not believe is universal. That's for cat. So I've heard and when I start talking about Cummins, folks, you might want to double check this, but I believe on certain manufacturers, they have it flipped. So on certain manufacturers, a voltage high would be a short and a voltage low would be an open, but I'm specifically talking about cats here. So that is what a voltage high code is and a voltage low code for a sensor is. Now on solenoids on cats, which a solenoid would be like an injector or a jake or an intake valve actuator, they do not use pull-up voltage to check those circuits. What they do is they monitor the amperage that the ECM is throwing out there. 
Now those, you will never get a voltage high or voltage low code. You might get a current high and a current low code, generally not at the same time, but let's say injector solenoid circuit current low. Now we just got talking about voltage high and low. Current faults are the opposite of voltage high and voltage low codes. So a voltage high is an open on a sensor. A current low is an open for a solenoid. Why do they do that? Well, if you're measuring current flow, current is the amount of a amps going through a circuit. If there's no amps going through the circuit, that must mean, hey, we've got a break in a wire or the solenoid's bad, it's an open circuit. So no current flow, current is low. Current high means that you're flowing more amps than is general. So what would that be? Usually that'd be a short, either between that wire and ground or internal to the solenoid. So current low faults are more common than current high, but voltage high are more common than voltage low. This may be very confusing, but just know that voltage high code uses pull-up voltage, Voltage high means an open. Voltage low means a short. Current high means a short. Current low means an open. And current faults are on solenoids, like your jakes and your injectors. And voltage faults are on sensors. Hopefully that didn't confuse you, but that is that trips people up a lot who are not familiar with these systems. And the terminology is complicated, but I promise you I am not staring you in the wrong direction here, folks. I am gonna give you one really easy way to troubleshoot voltage high faults. If you can view the fault with like ET or a scanner and it's active. If it has a voltage high fault, unplug that sensor, put a wire from the signal wire to the ground wire on the three wire pin it should go to voltage low immediately because you're now giving that voltage a place to go. If you do that and it immediately goes to voltage low, you know the wiring is good or it tests good. And if you have a voltage low code already and you're trying to get, see if the wiring's okay, you can just unplug it. If it goes to voltage high, you basically have most likely shown that it's the sensor. So we've actually got a treat for this one, folks. So I had communicated this information to Simon, the author of the question, yesterday, and he, guess what? He found that the plug was bad going to that sensor. So yes, he did have an open circuit that was not fully plugged in. Some troubleshooting tips there, explaining what those codes mean. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. <laughs>